Hi viewers, welcome to the third video of our series of lecture on plant genetic resources and conservation. In the last two videos, we talked about the genetic resources and the plant genetic resources and now we are talking about the center of origin, which is also known as the center of diversity for the plant plants. So first of all, we will see what this center of origin is. The center of origin, which is also known as the center of diversity, is a geographical area where a group of organisms or where a group of plants they are either domesticated or wise they are first developed so um, this is the center where the where firstly the plant originated this is the center of origin this is also known as center of diversity and i Vavilov is uh, the botanist is the scientist who is considered as the father of plant genetic resources and he was the first person who identified these centers of origin uh, which is also known as uh, the center of diversity in 1924 he uh, uh, he discovered or he identified different centers of diversity um, in different years and uh, in the last uh, in the last of 1935 he identified or he subdivided these uh, centers of origin into 12 subgroups and they are uh, very widely and you can see in the picture these centers of origin that were uh, identified by the Vavilov and this is the uh, and uh, there is a famous quotation of the Vavilov that is the theories of resource material and origin of cultivated plants must be fundamental for scientific plant breeding uh, the next is about uh, the center of origin and the Vavilov center these uh, centers of origin or the centers of diversity are also known as the Vavilov center and Vavilov center is the region of the world first indicated by the Vavilov to be the original center for the domestication of the plants. So this is the Vavilov center which was identified by the Vavilov and this is the uh, geographical area where first the domestication of the plants started. Vavilov he said that uh, the domestication of the plant was not started randomly in the different regions of the world but they were uh, started at uh, different places and in different regions and Vavilov centers are have higher diversity of the plants of the plant wild relatives the plant crop wild relatives they usually have more uh, genetic variation and uh, they have more wild characteristics and uh, the uh, they are very uh, close to their uh, 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 they are very close to their uh, domesticated or the cultivated crop plants these are the natural relatives of the domesticated or crop plants there are two types of uh, centers of origin. One is the primary center of origin and the second is the secondary center of origin. The primary center of origin is the center of origin where the first plant originated and the secondary center of origin is usually far away from the primary center of origin and this is usually the center where the cultivation of the plants started. And there are some characteristics of the plants uh, that are present in the primary center of origin because they are more wild plants and uh, they are not domesticated or cultivated so they have more genetic diversity they have more wild characteristics and they have less crossing over uh, the they are selected on the basis of natural selection so they are more adaptable to that environment and these wild relatives they are very very important for improving the crops for improving the genetic diversity of the crops that cultivated crops and these are the plants that are the wild relatives that are present in the primary center of origin they usually have more number of dominant genes while the plants that are cultivated or that are domesticated in the and present in the secondary center of origin which is far away from the primary center of origin and these plants these cultivated or domesticated plants they uh, usually have a lesser genetic diversity they have more desirable characteristics because the plants that are domesticated or that are cultivated they are usually selected on the basis of some desirable characteristics uh, so uh, they can benefit us more and so these uh, plants they have a more crossing over as well and their selection is either based on the natural selection or on the artificial selection uh, so uh, their selection uh, has both type of uh, selection mechanisms and they have more number of recessive genes while the, the uh, while the plants that are present in the primary center of origin they have more number of dominant genes so this was about the center of origin or the center of diversity that was identified by the Vavilovs and there were uh, some characteristics of the prime uh, plants present in the primary center of origin and in the secondary center of origin hopefully my lecturers are uh, helping you in understanding the uh, genetic resources and conservation 
uh, for my uh, next videos please stay tuned to my channel that is mh biology okay goodbye